Hi guys, it's Joe. So I wanted to share with you my monthly projects for the month of July. And the first one that I did was for I Am Roses and it was an altered notebook. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me because I did send it out for a swap. So I'll insert the picture here. And then the next projects that I made were from Avocado Arts and it was using their stamp set, Enjoy the Journey. So it's this stamp set right here. And then the three cards that I made, this one was really simple. I used the shoes and I just colored it and it added some glossy accents and some Wink of Stella glitter and then I just use a little burlap trim here to kind of mimic the shoelaces and the sentiment enjoy the journey so inside it's blank most of my cards are almost always blank inside next card I use the bug which I paper pieced and the uh, suitcases that I paper pieced also so I kind of made it look like it was climbing driving up a hill and the suitcases are on top of the car. The sentiment is keep on keeping on from the stamp set and I used a pound sign or hashtag sign and another sentiment from a previous stamp set. So there's this one right here. And the last card that I made using this I used the let your shine sentiment and I embossed it with white embossing powder on some vellum. I used some sequins and also a sun from a previous stamp set. So nice and flat. Really simple. So those are the three cards that I made using this stamp set. And then next I use a lot of magnolia images for this uh, for July. And the first one is using write a message tilde and she's holding a chalkboard so this is my card this um i this burlap flower is from petaloo it's their ivory uh, it's their burlap blah, burlo i can't even say it. burlap blossoms so i colored her with my copics and that's what she looks like the list of all the products they use and the Copic colors are again always on my blog so I'll put the link in the description box but here's some more sequins right there and so that's her and then the next one I used Hula Hula Tilda and it's this size right here Again, I use sequins, and these dies right here are from Echo Park. Uh, let's see. It's the Sun and Clouds. Um, I've used it already. Here's the cloud. Here's the sentiment, sunny, the sun, and then there's another uh, cloud die that can, comes in the set. So that's what I use. She is colored with my Copics and I kept it really simple nice and flat and I embossed the clouds with um, an, a polka dot embossing folder inside blank so that's her the last magnolia stamp I used is Pisces Tilda and she's this cute cute little mermaid and this is what she looks like. She's colored with my Copics. I used liquid pearls um, on the image. Um, the pink part is actually colored with uh, Mark uh, Sharpies, which is the the Bic Market, and they blend pretty well too. So I didn't have this pink in my Copic color. Copic marker collection so I used the Sharpie markers and they work really well. So here's another Petaloo flower and this is in the pistachio burlap blossom. I used some shells, some cheesecloth. Um, there's pearls on a string which is from an old pearl necklace that I cut up so I thought it went well with it. I used some 
chalk um, some blue and green chalks and I just colored the bottom over the Copic colored image to give it that water color and then I used these fern leaves right here from I Am Roses and the card base is from Recollections it's that corrugated cardboard that I just trimmed to make it um, an A2 size so I really really love how she turned out and again I used sequins and this is the silver and uh, the sequence that I've been using is fr actually from a multicolored pack from seven kids college fun and it has all these your basic colors and then also some really pretty ones silver there's that turquoise gold uh, orange copper color red magenta purple green and a nice blue so I'll, you'll be seeing a lot of this on my projects and then let's see what else oh last but not least I have um, my first Christmas card that I made using the winter owl stamp set from Lawn Fawn and the chit chat dies from Lawn Fawn and it's a really simple card I colored the owl with Copic markers I added some Wink of Stella on the scarf and here's the sentiment from the stamp set right here and then I just die cut it with the chit chat dies and then I just uh, cut a border around the die with the red cardstock just to outline it the uh, background is embossed with a embossing folder it's called birch tree and then I just got some chevron paper cut it out with a landscape trio die from mama elephant added some twine and a button really simple and then I pop dot the um, the image right here so it's sticking out so that's my first Christmas card okay so those are my July projects and again all the products and links will be listed on my blog and the link will be in the description box below and thanks for watching bye